Hi everyone and welcome back to Adam Gates Mudlarking. In today's video we head to London on the River Thames to actually visit the Globe Theatre to watch a William Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet if you're wondering. But also in this video I'm going to tell you the tragic story of the SS Princess Alice which happened in 1878. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is the memorial stump for the SS Princess Alice. It says, the saloon steamer, SS Princess Alice, returning from a pleasure trip, was wrecked at Tripcock Point by a collision with the coal carrying Bywell Castle on the 3rd of September, 1878. It was thought that 700 men, women and children were on board. Of these, about 550 were drowned, 120 were buried near this place. SS Princess Alice first named P.S. Butte made in Scotland and then sent down to London. It was a passenger paddle steamer that sank on the 3rd of September 1878 after a collision with the Bywell Castle on the River Thames. The Bywell Castle was a coal carrying ship and it was heading full of stern down the River Thames, crashing straight into the Princess Alice. This caused 640 people to lose their lives on this paddle steamer, Princess Alice, in 1878. It was on 3rd of September 1878 that the pleasure steamer SS Princess Alice was on a trip from her North Fleet on the Thames Estuary in Sheerness to London Bridge. It then collided with the Princess Alice in London. Alice didn't stand a chance against a ship four times the size of her. The dear old Princess Alice broke into three parts and sank quickly, in four minutes I believe. Her passengers drowned in the heavily polluted waters, the black stinking River Thames. Even worse, the people on the Princess Alice digested raw sewage from outlets on each side of the River Thames. This was utterly dangerous. There were over 900 people on the ship, half of which were women, with big bulky dresses. Can you imagine them swimming in the black stinking River Thames? Back in the day, a trip from London to Sheerness-on-Sea in Kent would have been classed as a daily holiday. Also on the day on the 3rd of September 1878, a steam train crashed in Sittingbourne just before the Isles of Sheppey, which is halfway from Canterbury to London. It made people scared to get on the train, so they decided to get on the Princess Alice, which made things worse. As more and more people were actually on the ship, it means more and more people lost their lives. Unfortunately, over 600 bodies went down with the Princess Alice. After weeks and months and more months after the sinking, more and more bodies were actually washing up on the Thames foreshore, also on the estuaries as well. Local fishermen were paid two shillings per day if they hunt for the bodies of the Princess Alice. They were then paid five shillings for the bodies that they have found. Once the news was out about the Princess Alice sinking, families of the deceased would have waited upon the morgue to see if their family members perished or not. Now, not many people out of the 900 people survived. About 30 of them did. They were very lucky. The words we shared were fleeting But 
future eyes rang true with the tale they told And that life that I dreamt of it came and it went Snuffed out by the judgment of the waves below If I'd only known what those winds would blow And those tides would lay to rest I'd have kissed your ears with three words that seared And burned within my chest I still think of the band that was And I weep at the sound of the songs they played I cry for the Thames that was cold that day And took a lover's smile in a moment From an angel's face If I'd only known what those winds would blow I'd have kissed your ears with three words that seed and burned within my chest on the day the waves lay love to So before I end the video, if you like the video, please let me know in the comments. And in the following week, not next week, but the week after, there'll be a video about the Queen of Medway. So that's the video to look out for. I now wish the people of the Princess Alice up in heaven the best wishes they could ever have. I am now going to play a song which is dedicated to the Princess Alice. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to get that London Thames permit very soon to go mudlarking on the Thames before everyone asks. I am going to get one. Now, I hope to see you again next Sunday and I'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you. Bye bye. The autumn leaves, they were singing Near that listener, the whispered tones And the stars in their place They were throwing their shade Of soft light across the waters The heavens glowed The words we shared were fleeting The 
But your eyes rang true with the tale they told And that life that I dreamt of it came and it went Snuffed out by the judgment of the waves below If I'd only known what those winds would blow And those tides would lay to rest I'd have kissed your ears with three words That seared and burned within my chest I still think of the band that was And I weep at the sound of the songs they played I cry for the Thames that was cold that day I took a lover's smile in a moment From an angel's face If I'd only known 